Today, I want to show you how to take out an existing duplex plug out of a wall and replace it with a new one. Everybody's got to know how to do this, and it's not that hard. Okay? Every once in a while you get a plug that's broken or that's not working and you need to have it fixed. I don't want you calling an electrician because you, yes you, can do it yourself. And I want to show you how. Next thing I'm going to do is just undo the two screws. Okay, now we're going to just pull this out of the wall with the wires in here. And we want to be careful. Ooh, there's a big, huge wire nut right there. Wow. Wow, that was a stretch. It's kind of hard to get these wires out of there. Now, I'm not going to take these wire nuts off or anything. I don't have to do that. I just needed to get that out further so that I had enough of the extra wire back here that connects to the plug so I could get to the plug wires because I still have to hook up the new plug too, right? I made the determination that these wires look like there's plenty of room to go ahead and cut off the wires right up close. So that's what I'm going to do. That way I don't have to mess with the, trying to get this off of there. So I'm just going to gently cut that, okay? And I can cut this other side here, too. I just want to reposition things here first. These little pigtails are kind of wrapped around the, the, uh, the wire nut. I want to kind of straighten those out. And that'll give me a little bit of length, too, see. Took a little doing, but I got it in there. I got the black wire nut over there, the white one over there. I had to reposition my ground wires and push those back in to get the black wire nut back in there. Now I can pull these out, these little pigtails, and make sure they're all nice and straight. Okay, we're gonna have to strip this longer. Okay, might even have to make it a little bit longer than that. Probably about like that. Now remember, we got the left wire is the white wire, that's the neutral, that's going to go to the left side. The black wire, which is the hot, is going to go to this, this right hand side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, this curly Q is going to go up, this one is going to go down. The way to do that is, I'm going to take that little hole, I'm going to put it in there, the bottom, and I'm going to twist that up. Okay, see, like that. Okay, that's how that's going to go. Now the ground wire, we're going to twist that one up too. Might as well do that one now. Okay, like that. We're going to um, attach the ground wire first. So you're going to attach that to the green screw, okay? Now as you flop this in, you want to put it on the right hand side of this screw and so it wraps around, okay? See how that is? I'm going to put that on there so that when we tighten this screw, it's going to tighten the same way as the ground wire is attached. Okay, now I'm just going to hook up the white wire. I'm going to turn that down sideways here. Take this, reposition it so it's kind of in the right place. Because I'm right-handed, I'm just going to kind of do all this upside down, sort of. Okay, you want to get a definite little bend in here so that you can fish this wire underneath that screw. Okay, like that. Okay. Now just kind of turn that over into your hand, like that. Now this, this has to go underneath that screw. So see, I kind of just tweak that wire up just a little bit and I can grab onto it sneak it underneath that screw like that. See how this goes up and then down and then up again. You see, so it goes up, down, and across. So something like that, so that 
this is, we'll give it springs, then you can push it in and then these wires will kind of fold back upon themselves, see? Step by step, you can do this. Now I got the screws just barely in there. And now I want to look at this and see if it needs to twist before I screw it in. And I'm going to take another quick look at it. That looks good. All right, now I can cinch it up a little bit. Okay, ready for the cover plate. All right, that looks pretty good.